Hey class, hey, welcome back. Uh, welcome to a new year, 2021. Excited about that. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, today, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some vocabulary and I'm gonna draw the picture of it up here for you. Um, so our, our unit is points, lines, angles, and there's even more than that in the unit. So, um, but it's mostly lines and angles is what we're gonna be dealing with. Um, so the first thing is a point. A point simply looks like this. It's in an exact location. So I could put this point anywhere in the room and you would exactly know where to go. If I said stand at the black point, then you would know exactly, you would know to stand right at this uh, mark right here. Okay, so a point shows exact location. Okay, that's the first one. So that one's pretty easy. A point is an exact location. All right, then we have a line and what it's confused with all the time, a line seg, let me make sure I spell this right, line segment. Okay, so these two get confused really often. All right, first of all, a line, a line goes in two directions forever. So it goes in this direction and it goes in this direction forever. That's a line. That's a line. So a line goes in two directions. Okay, so it goes in two directions. Okay, I, I think of it as this is as a, a person standing up there and pointing in both directions. Okay. That is a line. Now, a line segment is similar to that. It goes in two directions, but it has endpoints. It has two endpoints. So it goes in two directions, but it has two endpoints. It has two stopping points. Okay. What I think about that is like a barbell. When you think of someone lifting weights and you have a bar in the middle and then you have the weight and the weight on each end, that's what I think of. So when you think of a line segment, think of like a barbell. So you have the bar in the middle and then you have the weights on each end. So you have an end point, okay? So you have an end point on each end. It doesn't go on forever. So a line goes on forever in both directions. A line segment has two endpoints and it stops. Okay, that's the difference between a line and a line segment. Those two are commonly confused. Okay, then you have a ray. Okay, uh, what I tell the people in class is back when I was a, a little kid, we used to pretend we had ray guns and we'd go pew, pew, pew. And, and we, would, we would shoot each other with the ray guns. Well, I always said, does a ray go in one direction or two? Well, Evan says, well, it just goes in one. It just goes in one. Yeah, so that's what a ray is also. It goes in one direction. So a ray looks like this. It has an end point and then it goes in one direction, and that's a ray. So I always say, think of a ray gun. When you shoot a ray gun, it doesn't go in both directions. It goes in one direction. It only goes in one direction. So if you, if you think of it that way, you'll know when you see a ray. A ray goes in one direction, a line goes in two directions, a line segment has two endpoints, a ray only has one, okay? All right, then we get into our angles. Um, an angle, an angle is, 
two rays put together. So if I see a, if I draw a ray here and I put a ray together here, I have formed an angle. That's an angle. Okay, it's two rays put together. Now, there's three, well, there's actually four different types of angles. So let me erase some of this. Okay, so there's four different types of angles. There's a right angle. There's an acute angle. There's an obtuse angle. And there's a straight angle. Okay, those are the four types of angles. And I'm going to show you what each of those look like. Okay, so an angle has two rays put together. A right angle would have a ray like this, going straight up and down vertically, and then one straight horizontally. And we call that a 90 degree angle. When it's like that, like it's the corner of a classroom, or it's the corner of a wall, the corner of a paper, okay, we call that a 90 degree angle, and that is called a right angle, okay? So when it's straight like this, like a corner, like a corner right here, okay, like the corner of the board, corner of this, corner of this, Okay, that's a 90 degree angle and that's a right angle. So what happens if it's less than 90 degrees? So if it's smaller than 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. If it's smaller, this one's smaller than 90 degrees. So this is less than 90. Then we call that an acute angle. That is called an acute angle. So if it's less than 90 degrees, if this angle right here is less than 90 degrees, that is an acute angle. All right, what if it's more than 90 degrees? So say we have a big wide open angle like this, and we're measuring this angle right here, and that is greater than 90 degrees. So it's greater than this. See, it's bigger, it's wider than this one. Then that one is called an obtuse angle. Obtuse, obtuse, okay? And then the last one is a pretty simple angle, a straight angle. A straight angle is exactly the way it sounds. It is simply has a point in the middle and it goes in two directions like a straight line. Okay, in fact, a straight angle can be defined as a line too. Because remember we said a line went in two different directions forever. So a straight angle can be the same as a line. Okay. Um, and a straight angle is 180 degrees. Uh, and you'll see that in a video that I'm going to show you uh, about the types of angles. It's a pretty cool video. Uh, that we like to dance to in class, and you can dance to it at home too if you want. Um, but I'll show you that. Uh, you'll see that a little later today. Okay, so you have the right angle, 90 degrees, like the corner of a wall or corner of a door. Acute angle is less than 90, so that's acute. Obtuse angle is more than 90, so that's the big wide open angle, that's obtuse. And then the straight angle is just straight across like a line and that's a 180 degree angle, okay? 
The last thing I want to tell you about today is a vertex. So a vertex, okay, um, that is right here. That is where two, ang two rays come together and form an angle. This part right here is called the vertex, okay? So where these two rays have come together right here and, and crossed right there, that is the vertex of the angle. So that's the vertex where the two rays meet and form that angle. That's called a vertex, okay? Uh, now, that was a lot of information. If you need to review any of that, um, uh, I suggest just watching the video again and, and you can review anything that you might have missed or that you didn't maybe understand. Um, I will also post uh, an anchor chart on online so you can look at all these together on one on one uh, page. Okay, so I will also post that on my Canvas page. All right, guys, have a good day learning. Bye.